With the boat show on the docks of Porto Santo Stefano, we're here for the 17th edition of the Argentario Sailing Week, the second round in the Mediterranean of the Panerai Classic Yacht Challenge. There are 45 participants from eight nations, and there are all of the most beautiful vintage boats. Why buy a vintage boat? Above all else, because it has a history. Now we look at them with their antique patina, their classic lines, but in their time, when they were born, almost all of them were the best of technology and the race winners. Behind me, two great protagonists of the America's Cup. Here's Linnet, at the helm, no one less than Patrizio Batelli, who participated five times. But the other boat is called Naif, the first prototype built and designed specifically for Raul Gardini in 1973. Just think, here in the regatta for classic yachts, two great protagonists of what? The most technological race that there ever was. The passion for sea and for the sail is always there. There are two stupendous 20-meter boats designed and built by Hereshoff, Rowdy and Chinook. They have seen a hundred years of life and of navigation. How does it feel to sail in a boat that has been around for a century? Uh, we're here this year at Argentario Sailing Week uh, with Rowdy. Uh, this year it's a very special year for her, it's her 100th birthday and uh, we're very, very proud to be able to bring her around the racetrack just like they were 100 years ago uh, alongside our sister ship who's called Chinook who's uh, on her way in. Uh, the two boats 100 years ago were fighting it out and they still are to this very day. So it's uh, fantastic and a very special moment for uh, the people on board Rowdy and Chinook. Among the most admired is Lynette, 1905, also designed and built by Hereshoff. About 20 models have been built for members of the New York Yacht Club, which even then loved monotypes. Patrizio, what's the joy of owning a boat like this? A vintage boat. You've had everything from the America's Cup and more. However, there's something in here. Well, this boat is a landmark. Hereshoff is the father of all modern designers. He had innovative ideas. It's enough to see the shape, ideal for planing and very wide. To a sailing enthusiast like I've always been, this boat is a point in time. Max, dal foiling. Max, from foiling to displacement. <laughs> well, let's say this is a totally different sailing, but today we've had our fun, besides small mistakes I made. But this is a very fun boat. It's impressive, the speed it can reach with tailwinds. Today we did almost nine knots and it was really great. So much history on Serenade, built in 1938 from designs by Nicholas Potter, an architect who, in a moment of madness, set fire to his archives, and the drawings of this boat are the only ones that were saved. It's been built for Yasha Heifetz, one of the greatest violinists in history, who was often hosting his friend Humphrey Bogart. He then sold it to Zsa, Zsa Gabor, a friend of John Wayne, and later it was owned by Jacques Cousteau, the great oceanographer. Of great violinists, it's said that their soul remains in their instruments. Did you find any of their soul here? I haven't seen any. It's stupendo that con la conoscenza di questo mondo di Hollywood ha visto che it's amazing that with the knowledge of this world, of Hollywood, since every Hollywood star had a racing sailing boat, it was a world, truly an unknown world, and it's interesting to see that in this last 10 year period, there are a lot of American boats bought by Europeans to come into the Mediterranean Sea. The Med is wonderful for racing. Porto Santo, Stefano famoso... Porto Santo Stefano is also famous for its Argentario shipyards. All of these boats have a soul. How does it feel to be able to see them, 
to touch them. The great thing is to find this soul because many of them, like this one in 1904, you have to go and understand her whole life, find her parts, her things. It takes some time and then one also discovers the lives of people who have sailed on it. And then people knew her from the past or have relatives who did come forward. Every boat has its own world, pieces of history that we would never know if we didn't go and dig them out. Atrevido is a historic boat of Sparkman and Stevens studio. Atrevido will dire sfacciato. Atrevido means bold. Her sail number is Argentina 666. I can say that she won about everything there was to win in the early 70s. Bermuda race, Buenos Aires to Rio, the Argentine championship of course, and it has retired in 1973 with the Admiral's Cup. 1973 is the year in which Naif was launched. Yes, correct. Naif has been an opponent of Atrevido in 73. Curtains close on the Argentario Sailing Week. It has been a great three days of sailing. We'll start again in late July in the island of Cowes, a great temple of sailing with the Panerai British Classic Week.